I'm Representative Tim Burns, and I'm here with Councilman Reed Falconer, uh, my friend and supporter, and going to discuss with you sort of where we've been the last 10 years in St. Tammany with respect to transportation, where we've been and, and where we are right now. Councilman Falconer. It's nice to see you, Tim. Glad to have the opportunity to talk on your behalf. The, uh, you know, you and I go way back. The, we started, I guess, with the chamber. I was the chair of the Transportation Committee. You were the chair of the Governmental Affairs Committee back in 2001. And it was an interesting introduction to the local political scene that I think we've both been able to build upon to bring some real benefit to our respective constituencies. Um, I'd like to just start out by saying that, you know, from my perspective as a parish councilman in St. Tammany, I oftentimes feel those phone calls from constituents about traffic issues that our parish government really has no control over. Uh, so many of our main arteries in the district are state highways. And I just want to thank you uh, for always being uh, willing to not only take my call, listen to me uh, vent a little frustration sometimes uh, on behalf of my constituents, and always uh, you've been real proactive about bringing uh, value-added projects to our uh, transportation infrastructure in District 4 as well as the entire parish down here. So I just want to start off by thanking you for that. Well, you're welcome, Reed. And, and like you'd said, we both were back in the chamber. It was some tough days. Uh, the 190 where we're standing now, uh, phase three is about ready to start to widen the Chinchuba Bridge. And, and I think, hopefully, I think this is the, the main artery through Mandeville will address probably the, I think at least the most serious concern that I see, you know, right now going through Mandeville. And, and once this is widened, it wasn't that long ago that this was one lane. One lane, yeah. One lane, yeah, with no hope of right. nothing on the horizon. And I think it just was, what we focused on. Yeah. And, and people forget that uh, Highway 190 was two lanes and the um, ability to bring that, those extra lanes to get it up to uh, three in both directions, six total, was just a tremendous uh, traffic improvement for this end of, uh, in the west side of St. Tammany Parish. And in fact, it was interestingly enough, it might have been the St. Tammany delegation up to, you know, the late Senator John Hankel. Sure. We went up to go see him in Baton Rouge, really the first time this had happened. And we went to go see him like, we have a problem. On behalf of the chamber. On behalf of the right. chamber. And we got his attention. And I, I remember seeing that little light in his eye yeah. when uh, Shelby LaSalle said that the state owned the rights of ways on 190. Uh, and then the next thing you know, he goes, I might be able to help you. Right. And sure enough, within less than a year that project was done because everybody pulled together. John Hankel put up some money, the DOTD did, the, the Causeway did, and, and uh, local government did, and, and sure enough I think it was sort of the model for getting things done for us, at least in my mind, everybody coming together. Yeah, and that's why I'm here today is to uh, emphasize for my constituents that we need to continue uh, that working together between our legislative delegation and local parish government and certainly um, I want to wholeheartedly endorse you for re-election and I hope that my constituents will put you back in office and uh, allow you to continue doing the great work that you've done for us. Okay, well thank you very much, Reed. Sure. I want to thank my good friend and supporter, Councilman Reed Falconer, for his kind words and his support and I'd like to continue to work with the councilman and the other council members and work on behalf of you, uh, the voters of St. Tammany Parish, to keep improving our highways and transportation infrastructure. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to listen and let me share with you what's going on in our community. Thank you.